Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. So, today we are doing the end of year book tag. I know it's very late, but we're going to do it anyway because I want to join in and I want to answer these questions. So, that's what we're going to do. Even though I'm doing this video, I'm not going to pressure myself to finish the books that I'm going to put in these videos. This is just to set somewhat of a TBR for the end of the year and if I don't get to them, I'll get to them in January, you know? So, it's not too much of a pressure because I feel like when I make videos like this I put so much pressure on myself and then when I don't get to the books I get really overwhelmed so we're just not going to do that like I did the mid-year book tag and so many of the books that I said I want to finish before the end of the year I haven't even got to and that's okay that's fine okay don't pressure yourself with these videos if you're doing one too it's just for fun anyway let's get into the video I hope you all enjoy give it a big thumbs up subscribe and let's get into it the first question of the video is are there any books you started this year that you need to finish and I said no there is a book that I did start but I just completely completely DNF'd it till next year because it's a summer book and that was every summer after. I think uh, we got like 20 pages in and I was like I'm not in the mood for this so I'm gonna leave it for next year. Is there any that I need to finish this year? No. When I start a book I always finish it most of the time. The next question is do you have an autom- why can't I say that word? Autumnal? Autumnal? book to transition into the end of the year i feel like this one is kind of perfect i don't know divine rivals by rebecca ross and i really want to get to this if i don't get to this this year i might actually cry because i want to understand the hype and the second book comes out in december so i really really want to prioritize this i think i am going to read this very soon i have a youtube video in my mind that i want to do with this one and a couple other fantasy books that i own so fingers crossed i just need to get to this i feel like this is the perfect transition book because it's cozy it's magical it gives off art and vibes the cover does but it also gives winter vibes as well i don't know i tend to mix autumn and winter together because in the uk there's literally no difference autumn and winter are basically the same like the weather is just freezing from october and onwards constantly like there's no in between so yeah I really, really want to get to this, so fingers crossed. And I feel like it is the perfect transition book for the start of December. The next one is a very small answer. I feel like so many people have so many answers for this one, but I just don't. And that is, is there a new release you are waiting for? And there's only one, but I feel like when I finish Divine Rivals, Ruthless Vows will definitely be on this list. But for now, the book I have on this list is Heartstopper Volume 5. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this book. I love Nick and Charlie with all my heart and I just can't wait to follow their story. I do not want this series to end. I love it with everything in me. I love the show. It's such a comfort to me. Heartstopper are the type of books that you read when you're ill because they just give you so much comfort and make you feel like you're just in a warm hug. Like they're perfect. So yeah, I can't wait. I will be reading. This is one of those books that no matter what I'm reading at the time, when it arrives at my door, I will be reading it because it's literally a 30 minute read. So not even that. The next question is, is there a book that could possibly shock you and could become a favourite of the year? Now I'm going to put two on here. I don't know if I'll get to either of them because they're very thick books, but I do hope to. If I don't get to them in December though, hopefully I'll, I'll definitely get to them in January because I need to read them. So we have Haunting Adeline by H.G. Carlton. I rated Haunting Adeline four stars and I just, I feel like this one could be better and I feel like I will end up rating it five stars. And I wouldn't be surprised if I reread Haunting Adeline and it became a five star just because of how addictive it was. I feel like I couldn't rate them five star because of all the things that are wrong in the book, but you have to expect that with these books. It's got subjects and things in it that are morally wrong. But they are such good books in my opinion. I absolutely love them. So yeah and I feel like this one's going to be even better. And I just think I'm probably going to rate it a 5 star. I hope I do anyway. And then the other book I've put is Keeping 13 by Chloe Wall. I really really want to read this like so badly. But I have this thing in my head where I'm like if I read this I'm not going to get to as many books. And that scares me, like I want to read loads of books and these books take up so much of my time. But also I read uh, Binding 13 in four days so I would really like to get to this in December. Fingers crossed because I need to know where this story goes, especially with how the first one ended. I am itching to find out what happens. I've really, like, 
oh i need to get to this so i keep putting it off because of the size of it but i know i'm probably gonna rate it five stars so i don't get why i do this i just get intimidated by big books what are three books you want to read before the end of the year we have a pretty ambitious tbr here because they're all quite thick but first up we have tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow by gabrielle seven this is a book that really intimidates me but i feel like i'm gonna really love this could also go with a question of a book that could possibly shock you and be a favorite just because this book has so many things that i love about it it has friendship it has video games like it sounds perfect for me it's got an emotional in-depth connection between the two main characters and i just feel like this is going to be so much more than just a romance story because it literally says this is not a romance but it is about love on the back and it just sounds so freaking good and i really need to get to this i'm putting this on here to try and motivate me more because i do keep putting it off because I'm so intimidated by it and I'm so scared that I'm not gonna love it like everyone else because I really wanna love it. I'm not a literary fiction girly and this is literary fiction so hopefully this could change my mind on that genre. Next book we have is Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. I've put this on here because I really, really wanna finish this series. But this one, I do really wanna finish. I feel like this one is one of the ones that I'm most excited about because Christian in the first like two books i think he's in the second one he's not in the first one i'm pretty sure but i'm pretty sure he's in the second and third he is so intriguing like i can't wait to read his story because he has like this business he seems like so much in the background he seems so mysterious and i can't wait to find out more about him he met stella in the third book and the chemistry already was so strong like you could tell that they were initially attracted to each other i love stella in the first three books she has so much confidence she seems like the perfect female main character like i just need to get to this really badly lastly which is one that i was really excited about but when it came and i saw the size of it now i'm so scared and from what people are saying about it i'm also terrified because apparently it's very very politics heavy compared to the first one and that is Iron Flame by Rebecca Yarrow. This is so thick and the font is tiny. Like, why is the font so small? Like, look at that. Just why? Why would you do this to me? I just, I feel like I'm not going to love it because it, everyone says it's so politics heavy and I loved Fourth Wing. I like fantasy, but heavy politics fantasy, I just can't follow. Like, I struggled to follow Fourth Wing a little bit. Like, I had to watch a video to recap it all. And I feel like it's going to be even worse with this one. I feel like I'm going to be so confused. And I just don't want to be because I love the characters in this series. And I just don't want this book to disappoint me. The way Fourth Wind ended sets up for a really good plot. So I'm just hoping this doesn't disappoint me. And I'm not really confused while reading it. When you're so scared that someone's going to disappoint you. That you just put it off and put it off and put it off. The last question we have is. Have you already started making plans for next year? So I have said yes and no. There's a lot of books on the top of my head. That I would really like to get to next year. So we're just going to go through them. So technically I have. But nothing's set in stone. So let's go through them. So first off we have The Cruel Prince. This is a series I really wanted to get to this year but I just didn't and I really want to finish series that I'm already in the middle of before I start new series because I am a person that cannot be in the middle of loads of series. I get too overwhelmed. I will definitely get to this just depending on when I finish the series I'm already in the middle of. I cannot wait for this. I feel like this is a politics series but it's YA so I thought it's gonna be nice and easy to follow. Next we have the Caravel series. I definitely will read this next year because I love Stephanie Garber so much and I just feel like I'm gonna love this because it's about carnival it's about games and things like that i know it's going to be magical and whimsical because stephanie Garber is the queen of whimsical writing she's one of my favorite authors as well so i just feel like i'm going to absolutely love this series next we have one that i really wanted to get to this year but i didn't is practice makes perfect by sarah adams i have a few on here that are authors that i have quite a few books by and i just want to get through the backlist and one of those is sarah adams then we have love on the brain by ali hazelwood as i just said i have a lot of books by authors that i love even though i've only read one book by ali hazelwood of which i've got so many other books i think you might be able to see them behind me they're all here i've got checking me love to love you love theoretically the only one i've read is the love hypothesis so yeah i want to get through her backlist because i love her writing so much and the next one i want to read is love on the brain next we have one that has been on so many tbrs and i'm so sad i haven't got to because i really want to get to these two books 
so badly and those are part of your world and yours truly by Abby Jimenez these are in the same series but you don't have to read one to read the other but I would like to do that I'm gonna read this one first then this one I will mark my words this is one you can trust me on I will definitely be reading these next year because I just need to get to them especially this one because it's got a male main character that's got anxiety and i haven't i've read a couple books with people with anxiety but apparently this one has really good representation and as someone that has anxiety i just really want to read about that this one just sounds adorable like opposites attract trope so yeah i can't wait to these next we have wildfire by hannah gray this one is a special edition it's got spread edges it's so beautiful but I loved Icebreaker so much, I gave it four star, so I can't wait to read this one. Everyone said that Russ is the perfect male main character, so I can't wait to see what the hype's about. Then we have Betting On You by Lynn Painter. I would hope to get to this this year, but I'm not going to pressure myself to do so, because we don't do that over here. The cover is just so freaking cute. Like, Lynn Painter has the cutest covers and the best parts I feel like. I do still need to read the uh, Wolf Wager. I do also really want to get to that one as well. I'm just more excited about that one because it literally came today. The last book on my TBR for next year is Legends and Letters by Travis Baldry. This cover is one of my favourites that I own. Like it's just the ultimate cosy vibes. Like this just is cosy. Like look at it. But this is one that I also wanted to get to this year, but I just know I'm probably not going to. So we're putting it on the TBR for next year. And um, this just sounds adorable. And look at the pages inside. That is so sweet. I can't wait for this. It's like about a magical coffee shop. Don't that sound adorable? So that is all the books that I have planned for next year and so many more. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe and let me know some books that you want to get to this year. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!